We've got Ours let's, is a fury. let's start with these. We've got King Robert. King Robert the Fat. Then you've got Stannis. Stannis the Shadow. And then you've got Renly. Renly the Rainbow Renly King. Of the Rainbow Army. Rainbow Army. Wait, is that an actual thing? They actually call his army the Rainbow Army. Seriously? Seriously. I don't know whether it's in the show, but it's in the book. Hashtag foreshadow. <laughs> <laughs> and it does work. Yeah. So we've got Robert Baratheon. Are we we'll we'll go ahead and do do you want to go with Robert or you yeah, let's start. Let's with just go with Robert, because he's going to the with nonsense. So we've got Robert Baratheon. Robert Baratheon <laughs> So he's the king of the seven kingdoms. Unfortunately. He's apparently not jolly, but he's fat and full of wine. Yeah, and full of poop. He's got this beautiful wife, Cersei Lannister, who has three very alive children. Should... And they're all very, very happy. And they're not, they're not Baratheon children. They're Lannister children, for the record. He's employed his brother-in-law, Jamie Lannister, because why? I mean, keep your family close. Because... Right? Well, he is a Lannister. When a man loves his sister! That's friggin' illegal and it's gross. Don't hump your sister, it's nasty. And I'm like this guy with a lucky hand. <laughs> so you got that. So, Robert Baratheon. Nice one. Oh, well, that's I appreciate pretty... that. <laughs> She's got a little extra action going on over there. I like, I like this stuff. We're going to keep this one. I mean, Cersei's even getting so much action... Not even on screen. <laughs> that one. That little witch queen. Can't keep her legs close for her relatives. So, you've got Robert. His best friend is Ned Stark. We're going to be learning about the Stark shortly. The Honorable Eddard Stark. But they've been like best friends since they've defeated the Targaryens. Yep. Yep. So, they've but been... But, had it not been for the death of Lyanna, they would not be friends anymore. So just got to that up. Yeah, because Lyanna was his fiance. Yep. And Ned's sister. And Robert actually, let's see. Okay, actually, how did Eddard start? Who started calling him Ned? His, if his name is Eddard and Ned. Totally his different. friggin' name is Eddard. How do you get Ned out of that? How do you get? How do you get Dick out of Richard? Thank you. There. Except there. For exactly. Cutting it off. Exactly. Get it? <laughs> Maybe he'd be a eunuch. Maybe the eunuch's name is Richard. Because he's dickless. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Eddard. Ned. Sorry. Stark. Big Daddy Stark. Not Tony Stark. No, not Tony Stark. Different universe. Maybe, Other episode. Maybe maybe Marvel is in like the future of Game of Thrones. Maybe it goes from like Game of Thrones, like dragons and shit, to like two like four thousand years. Dragons ahead. and shit. Well that's what the world is. It's a dragons bunch of dragons and, and it's a bunch of poop. <laughs> And incest. Lots and lots of sibling love. <laughs> so you've got them. You've Bradley had the whole Leanna thing. And sisterly. Answered one, two, They the thought it was zero. this great, great, great idea. Yeah, that's not a Let's good marry idea. our kids. Marry our kids, you become hand of the king. So we've got, yeah. of this family, we've got this dude. Right there? Joffrey. Yep. Yeah, sound effects. A little bit louder Silence, sound effects. Please. That's our budget. That's our budget. Perfect. So you've That's got that. It is supposed to be engaged to Sansa Stark. Yes. So that the um, 
Tyson. the new warden of the the, the north, north because all the other Starks are basically dead or missing except for Jon Snow, who's not actually a Stark. And officially, he's a bastard. He's, he's he's what was that? Bastard. I thought she said bastard. Bastard. Which would be awesome. That would be bastard. Hashtag oh bastard. You heard it here first. That becomes a thing. It's us. Hashtag bastard. Not not Bass Shark. <laughs> Bass Stark. There we go. Bass Stark. So they get this marriage thing going on. Yeah, We're going to be all happy, Jolly. Well, I've got to keep you on track. So he gets the promotion to the hand of the king. Everything's good and fine until, you know, Robert finds out that yep. there is this pregnant Targaryen that he wants dead. Yep. That's not cool, Dad. He's like, that's a little bit too much, Arzine. Yep. But he stays in King's Landing because of Stark stuff. Theory crafting. Okay, so when, this this is important, this makes sense. So, um, when you see that, see Eddard Stark loses his mind over killing Daenerys. Just his mind? Well, <laughs> just, okay. You know, he lost his head. He lost his head <laughs> and his temper. But, um, you see that when he freaks out about it, that might be the reason that we all think um, Jon Snow is actually a Targaryen. Because he doesn't want to kill another Targaryen. Like, yeah, they, they killed kids in the past, but this person now is a full-grown adult. Mm -hmm. Daenerys is, is at, at least, what, well, 20 years depends years on, in the, in the book, she's a lot younger. Well, loosely, but, you know, anyway. Because I think she was 15, 16, I think, when she was supposedly married to Drago. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, you know, really early, but I'm only paraphrasing a little bit from the book because I only have secondhand knowledge and research. I have a person who's read them all. I just I know. Shame a on lot me. of lore videos. I haven't read them yet. I have 10 hours tonight to do <laughs> things. So, let's go hunting. Okay, let me finish what I was saying. Okay, we're not going hunting. Let not hunting. I'm sorry, I gotta finish what I was saying. Okay, so, back to the Tower of Joy in Season 6 when we see Bran time hump to... Time hop. Time hop. <laughs> time. <laughs> I want to see time a time hump. hump. I want to see a time, time hump. Time hop. Is that like humping a time lord or a time master? <laughs> Le leave it. Leave it. We must find out. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the, with the Hoovy and Sonic screwdriver. Anyways. Never be done. Just don't break it. <sighs> okay. Anyway, when we see Bran go back to the Tower of Joy. Um, to see his dad going up the steps, um, that might have been where, um, Liana and, what was, what, what was the dude's name? Rhaegar. Rhaegar! Yeah. They were making the snow child. Jon Snow. Because we heard John her Targaryen. screaming in labor. Yep. And then when Eddard, Ned, finds her, she's covered in her own blood, in bed, and die dead or dying. Was it dead or dying? Dead she was not. dying. She was dying. Because they spoke. Yep. And I don't particularly think that Lord, the Honorable Eddard Snark would break his vows to Catelyn. He said Snark. No? Okay. You did, you did. Anyway, but... <laughs> the Honorable Eddard Stark would break his vows to Catelyn Tully. He's going to be Tully to me because... So, that's my, that's my little piece. Jon Snow is a Targaryen. Can we go hunting now? Targaryen Stark. Can we go hunting now? Starkarian. We're going friggin' hunting! I'm tired of this. Alright, so, he goes hunting. And then he gets drunk. He gets nostalgic. And he decides he's gonna go chase a wild boar. Obviously, he's too fat and lazy. And he's just not good at it. And so he gets wounded. Terribly yeah. wounded. Mortally wounded. But he makes it to his castle. He fat. does make it to his castle. And he just dies. He dies. But that's okay. Because why? He has an heir. The king is dead. Long live the king. For the record, can we just note that Robert Baratheon, in his dying words, gave Eddard Stark a decree of who will be next in line. And, and that... then it was brought up in front of Cersei, the, the mother of incestuous babies, basically denied it. What's a piece of paper going to prove? I'm Cersei Lannister. I can blow do what I want. So yeah. Sorry, that was important. Okay. That's and so it's, it's I understand it was important. It was important. 
is very important. Just like these bastard cubes. But now that just kind of went with this and it's not so good. It's important. What? You've got... The king is dead. Long live the king! Joffrey! Nope. Because he is the true Baratheon heir! No, he's not. He's a Lannister. Or is he? He's a Lannister. We are family. But that's okay. Robert, Robert, it's okay because we have somebody out there who may be your bastard. Gendry! Where you at? The blacksmith. That is the actual question. Where are you at? Because you just showed up. You've been all sorts of places that we're going to discuss, and then... Yeah, where the hell has Gendry been? He shows up. Oh. But where was he? He, well, what we're going to talk about with Stan is he was taken by Melisandre. Oh, yeah, that's right! Yeah, that's right. So I forgot yeah. about it because that was a boring ass episode, and Gendry and Melisandre, I could well, care less. I about. said, the, couldn't care less about. Melisandre, she crazy woman. So obviously, we're going to be going on to. We're done with Robert. We're going on to um, Stannis. Melisandre's like a thousand years old. Remember when she took off her necklace and she was just like a sagging, a like old. cool. Just like, yeah, I'm back. Ah, ah. I don't know, but why are witches ah. always depicted as old hags? Uh, because they are. If I was a witch, I would have made myself look younger. Well, that's exactly what she did. That's until, what the necklace was, was to make herself look the, younger. Until the magic wore off, and then you'd be like a thousand But then if old. you had the best magic, you would forever be young anyway, Just and not like worry about Bucky a visual vanity who are spell. Who hundred years old, and we're hitting on people a quarter of their age. <laughs> we're back to that. All right, Stannis. So gross. Second Baratheon. He is now... What? He's the brooding one, hanging out in Dragonstone. Yep. Dragonstone, that's where the Targaryens, that's where they came from. Yep. He's not quite happy because he wanted a better title. His brother Renly got it, but we won't go in there. That's why he's brooding. He's over there with his wife, he's over there with his daughter Shireen, and he's over there with this crazy-ass mad witch of occult religion. In fact, if you listen to uh, the history of Restros that's voiced by the actors of the Game of Thrones, Stannis refers to, to Renly as the prancing Renly, which is hilarious. <laughs> it just, it's just so funny. The prancing Renly? The prancing Renly. Who gave it to the prancing Renly? Now I'm thinking of Prancing Pony. Stone. What's that from? What? Prancing Pony. What's that from? I don't know. It sounds know. like it's from something. I'm not a woman. I don't know what Prancing Pony No, I, honestly, I think it's from some high fantasy something. Whatever. So you've got on here. Right, he gets news about his brother's death. Yes. He also gets news that the children are not the true heirs, that he, in fact, is supposed to be the king. Yep. So he tries to get his nice little army that's going on. He takes a lot of time and he goes a lot of places yep. looking for all these things. Once again, he is with this crazy witch. And cube up cherry. But Somehow he makes sweet, sweet love to this woman. Sweet. And she gets pregnant. Yep. Like that. Baby. Yeah, she's freaking baby. Phantom. She's a, she's a destruction warlock. <laughs> what? Prancing pony with a mortar gun. Let's no, see. I was right. I was right. <laughs> okay. Off topic for one second. What if and this is theory crafting here? What if Blizzard got together with the people who made Lord of the Rings mm. and, the and the people? Who make Game of Thrones to make a gigantic, just like crashing of universes? There's kids back there, so if you hear ah! or da 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 da, da or the children, they're not mine. They're just random That's children that come to the house. We can't get rid of them. They're we, like rats. We have candy, and they can smell it. Stannis. Stannis! Phantom Baby. Phantom Baby. So you've got where... That's it. So she has this little baby. But first, she leaves. She leaves the island and she comes back with... I don't know. I don't remember. Bastard. Gendry. No. Yes. Nah. Because mm -hmm. after the Shadow Baby comes out, then it, it goes in... Well, you kind of... Went past that, so we will go up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, We're not going in order, apparently. 
I skipped something with my, my brain jumping. No, if we're going in here, where it has... And the time humping. So you've got... It is the god of light is technically what they worship. No, this, that's what it says. I know, but like... But it's, it's, it's literally a religion for pyros. <laughs> Bring on the Destro Lux. So, and he's got a daughter, Shireen. Yep. She's got this whole bad case of eczema that... I call her Stone Face McGrills. She's got dragon scale. She's super smart and super cool and... Really nice. She taught Davos how to read. Right. Really Were you going to say anything? I, I think we missed a little bit about Davos. Were you going to say anything? About Davos? Yeah. About he's the actual one person in Game of Thrones who deserves anything in his life. There you go. Because he went out of his way to save people that he had he knew nothing about just because he couldn't get food. Like, he's doing every that? He literally... Okay. Davos is the one person who deserves anything in his life because he smuggled food through an enemy army to help people he didn't know didn't have to even serve. And then he get he, he was given a night ship, right? He was he was made a house and then his his son was taken in under Stannis, right? Yeah. Yes. So Davos is actually a cool in my book. And now he's with John Targaryen, Snow Bastard Dark. Title title. Raven. They love titles. They're like master type. They don't have as many names as Daenerys, but First, that is they've name. got name. So, I'm going to my cheat sheet. Again, it's a lot. Really? <laughs> Orphan tears. That's what tears, sorry. So, she brings him back because she intends to sacrifice him. They need king's blood to appease this, what is it, the god of light. And then he's going to get his magical crown and he's going to get, that's exactly what he needs. So, it doesn't happen, people, guys. It doesn't happen. Nope. He doesn't get sacrificed. No worries. Good. He's alive and well. He should be dead, though. Just saying. Joffrey's dead! Yay! Joffrey's dead. He they finds out. So he is sure to take the crown this time. I was actually more excited when Viserys Targaryen died than when Joffrey died. <laughs> I hated them both pretty much, but, like, on my list of favorite deaths, Joffrey's, like, I don't know, sixth. So Viserys is like, Booyah! Number one kill shot! Boom! Headshot! Get it? Because he was covered in gold. Okay, go. Yeah, so. we got that. No, 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 no. We're gone. So, we're going to fight up north. Yep. We're going to fight some wildlings. He interrupts John and man's talking and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. He's going to fight. He brings his army up into Castle Black. Yep. Because that's where he's going to be regrouping to take over his crown. So, you've got that. Mance, he's a dude of pride. I liked Mance. I thought he was cool. He was not going to pledge any fealty. He was not going to bend the knee. What happens? For, okay, for like four okay. episodes, I thought Mance's <laughs> first name was Max until Max. I turned on subtitles. It was like, oh, it's Mance. I've been hearing Max Raider this whole time. I was like, okay, so did he turn his raid meter up to Max? And that's how he got his name? <laughs> that would work. Like, okay, my name is Mark. Max! And then boom, everyone's like, okay, anyway. So he didn't want to bend the knee. And, um... They set him... They, they set him to, to, to burn at the stake. But... But, John, Bastard, Snow, Targaryen, Stark decided that was too cruel of a fate and kills him with a bow and arrow. To make it a quick, yep. painless death as opposed to the burning. That's why I think Jon Snow should just be dead. Yeah. Which he was, and I was happy. And then they brought him back to life because we need Jon Snow. No, we don't. We don't need you, Jon Snow. You know nothing. But I, I, we can have Jon Snow. No, we can't. Yes, we can have Jon no, Snow. Can't. Yes. I'd rather have Ramsay Bolton than Jon Snow. At, at least, at, hey. The actor's pretty awesome. The guy, really, do you want him splitting your nuts? No, no, no. no. Or taking your sausage off? Just listen, just listen. Just stop. Relax your memories and stop. Ramsay is more of an interesting character to watch on screen than Jon Snow. Oh, no argument. I would rather watch an hour of Ramsay just flaying some dude on screen than listen to ten minutes of Jon Snow remorsing over his past. Mm, My no father argument. died. I haven't seen Winterfell. All right. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to get through this. Yes, eventually. Oh. <laughs> <Wrecking> <laughs> so, Mance burned. Then he's trying to get Jon... 
If John joins with him, he's going to give him an actual title. He's like, you know what? You don't have to be a bastard anymore. Yep. We will let you be a Stark. John says no, not once, but twice. That's he fair. Every takes Lord Commander. Was to, was to be an actual Stark. But he is a Night's Watch. He can't have that. Yep. So it doesn't matter. He is <coughs> actually showing his stuff. So you've got that. Where John Snow has this thing with his vows, like they suit him when it's necessary. Like he actually appeals to them when he's when he can. Like he he slept with Ygritte. Is that her name? Ygritte. Yeah, the wildling. Just because he felt because he wanted to. No problem breaking his vows then. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. No yeah. problem. I think that was kind of when he was deciding what he was going to be doing. Yeah, aside from being an idiot. That's what happens when hormones get involved. <laughs> So you've got that. Now he's going that... I lost my voice. Seriously? Ah! Okay. No? You're making it quiet. <laughs> it's quiet. I'm making this as awkward as possible. He is, because he keeps rambling on and I lost my place. Hey, it's the most awkward as possible. So he heads south to Winterfell. Yep. Starts getting massively stormy. Gets his ass whooped. I was so excited about it, too. He does. Ramsay comes and sets fire to a few tents. Yep. So he's doing this, and of course you got Melisandre. She's like, we have not appeased the god of light. We have to make a king, blood king sacrifice. Who's left? You don't have the boy. Kill the girl. Kill the stone face witch. Set yes. her ablaze. Make her into a hot Shireen. dog. Poor Shireen. Poor little girl set on a stake. Yep. Just for being a Baratheon. I guess her face isn't more a concern anymore, is it? She withers and dies, and of course, there's good reason for a rift between he and his wife. Burn, baby, burn. Young girl in Inferno. It doesn't help. Nope. He goes it. to Winterfell and fails. Mm. Well, Miserably I... failing. Yeah. yeah. So he goes, and he... Well, Ramsey's a crazy. That's what I mean. I like Ramsey's. <laughs> Ramsey. Ramsey. Ramsey's? What was it, Egypt? Ramsey. So Stannis... Is in this fight. He's fighting for his life. He takes down quite a few people. He is not going down easy. Then he gets a boo boo to the. And he goes and climbs to find a tree. And then. What happens? He's at this tree and. Brianna Tarth! We're gonna learn more about her in just a second. But she finds him and she asks him. Did you use blood magic on your brother? The Finley? shadow baby. That's where the shadow baby came in. Rolled now through the Renly Baratheon camp. Uh, we'll be talking about Renly Eight in just popsicles. a minute. He ate popsicles. That's all he did. <laughs> yeah. The shadow baby was just like, mmm, the cherry. He says, yeah, I did it. Whatever. One. Dead. Gone. Two Baratheons. Down. Now we've got Renly. Two Baratheons, one sword. <laughs> That's on Showtime. He's the youngest of the Baratheon boys. He's got many titles, but basically it doesn't matter. He's fourth in line to the throne anyway. Whatever. So, he's a very, very happy Baratheon with a very, very close friend. Which one are we on? We're on Renly. Ah, Renly. We can talk about Renly now. So, Loras Tyrell. The prancing stag. What? Okay. I'm like, okay. Yeah, he's, he's a so, prancing stag. Who happens to have a living relationship with a Tyrell? Yes. Wrong gender for what they're doing. They're playing This is their rules. Sticks. But which is fine, because you've got Renly. He's determined to be crowned king when he finds out his brother is dead. I think the weirdest part about Renly Baratheon... And his wife, well, was it? No, they were soon to be married. Mm, they got married. They got married? Okay, mm -hmm. they got married. Or, um, what's her name? Marjorie. Marjorie. When she walked in on him and, um, her brother and offered to help. Because they had to, she had to have proof that. It yeah. was so weird. <laughs> like, it, like, that was just so awkward. Okay, so you're gay. I understand that. But we need a kid. I'll help. He can come get you off, and you can just be like, done. Walk away. Yep. It's like, that's so weird. That's so that's awkward on so many levels. Uh. 
But Renly, okay, Renly went away. Yes. Renly was in. He pranced away. <laughs> he pranced away. He was, he was with, uh, he was in King's Landing. King's Landing. Brother died. He kind of went to Ned and said, you know, why don't we kind of take Joffrey prisoner, kind of neutralize this whole Lannister thing that's kind of become out of hand. And Ned, as true to Robert as he was because he made a promise it was going to be Stannis, yep. it was considered treason, so he kind of just ran off. That's not do that. That's not a good idea. So, since he was determined to be crowned king, he decides that I am king. That's the end of it. I'm king. I've got king of my land because Westeros at this point is oh, broken yes. up into a few pieces. Yes. So you've got him, then you've got a couple, you know, you've got Rob just claiming of the north, and you've got all that going on. So it's broken up into a few. And he gathers his rainbow army of about 100,000 men. Why is it called a rainbow army? I'm assuming it's called a rainbow army because he's gay, but I would have to actually ask the book reader. Book readers? Yeah, but that would just, that would just be associating the, the community with It would. Gay. I don't I know. Mean, but it is Maybe called the Rainbow because Army. because there are so many other banners associated with Renly's army. Which, which is funny because he comes to parley with Stannis. And Stannis, he has his banner. But he's got his little stag in flames and he finds it funny. Yeah. And of course he explains that's because it was taken in by the light, got a light, blah, 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 and all that. Obviously, their talking didn't work too well. If Stannis would have actually would like read up on the prophecy, he would have understood that he was doing everything wrong. Simple as that. Yeah. So, you've got they met. So, back at the Stark, you've got mother... Back at the Stark. Back at the camp, you've got mother, Catelyn Stark. She is... She's, like, going everywhere. She's trying to talk to everybody. She said, hey, Rob, this is what's going on in the North. You do know that Rob is king in the North. And he says, cool, cool, we're good, because I'm king of here. Oh, good! good. You stay there, bro. I'll stay here. Cool, bro. I'll <laughs> see you later. See you at the picnic next fall. So, through all this, we take a break. We've got this stressful stuff that we just dealt with. We're being guarded by Brienne and a bunch of other people. Let's go look in the mirror. And this is when that well, was, creepy I was thing happens. I really confused where that was going for a second, but now I understand that we're back to what I was saying like five minutes Right. Ago. See? Here we go. Take it away, Matt. Okay. So, Shadow Baby crawls through the camp. Um, and it's it's Brienne and Renly talking in his, his royal tent. His quarters, as it were. And then the baby... Um, kills Renly in the mirror and the entire army thinks it's it's Brienne because she was in there with him so I guess that would be a really hard situation to explain no I didn't kill him a shadow killed him bum 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 Brienne Tarth and I like your armor I like Brienne she's she's my favorite character of the entire series because she is more honorable than anybody ever I mean, she will promise to a pre probably a frog, you know, I'm going to make sure that you kiss a pretty woman. I will swear it by honor and I will take my oath. You will kiss that frog. Whatever. But she dies in the end. Spoiler alert. I'm not sure what world he's talking about. It's not happened. She gets, she, she gets killed by Jon Snow. It's not happened. She gets killed by Jon Snow. It's not happened. By accident. I think my heart would be broken if she killed Jon Snow. Uh, no, she gets killed by Jon Snow. Calling it now. Oh, either which I Okay. This, this is what he's saying. This is what he's saying is going on. I know. So we are wrapping up House Baratheon. We're killing the stag. And I think the best thing that we're going to be going to next... I'm not going to say what house. Because... Why not? What does it rhyme with? I think at this point we should be going with House Lannister. Because they're married through the Baratheon line. Yeah. So, we're going to end this one. Baratheon, out.